What is going on? What is going on? What is going on, party people? It's your boy, Coach D. Brown, former big leaguer, former first round pick with the Kansas City Royals. And I'm back, man. I am back with another show. Hope everybody had a great weekend, man. Your boy over here giving you this great knowledge, this great info, everything going on with this youth baseball space, man. The showcasing is giving you maximum exposure if you come to my showcases and helping you get to school, all right? Get into schools. So shout out to everybody that's been uh, signing up in my recruiting program. Uh, I got a couple Texas boys signed up, locked and loaded yesterday. Um, Man, it's been a great start to the 2021 with some great talented kids. I've uh, been on the phone trying to help out as many parents as I can with great information. Um, it's been a good start to 2021. It's going to accumulate and it's going to roll over this 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 coming weekend. All right, Saturday uh, again, one o'clock at Next Level Academy. We will have um, the first 2021 showcase of you know Deep Brown over here, man. Uh, super, super, super uh, excited about this uh showcase on saturday we i have about seven slots left all right seven um i wanted to kind of cap it out at that so we got seven slots left hopefully in the next two days we'll lock that up and i'll be ready to roll um we got kids coming from texas arkansas cali i got a cali kid coming in uh georgia tennessee florida and uh, of course alabama man so it's gonna be a nice quaint but talented group i'm sure i know some of the kids are already coming there super talented and shout out to everybody that's been uh signing up okay um and if you are a part of the showcase that you are coming make sure i've emailed you guys i make sure you put out a form what i like to do everybody that comes to my showcase i i send them a form with the name information here and, there, and i make a nice little brochure i'm sure some of my other parents that have been in my uh my other showcases how it looks when i present it to the college coaches um that's, that will be on the live stream and the scouts that would be in, in attendance. I, I give them a nice little brochure. So if you don't fill in the information, you know what I'm saying? If you don't send that back, man, you just be a guy on the live stream. Everybody's going to be wondering who you are. You're going to be saying who your name is, but you're not going to be noticed and, and everything. So make sure, um, you know, you get that information sent back to me. And so I could have my team make a nice little brochure to send to the college coaches that will be joining us via live stream, okay? So, um, you know, just do that, all right? That's for my people that have signed up. Um, I, <laughs> I haven't seen anything yet, D, don't leave us out. All right, shout out Big Boy B. Hall, man, I forgot, man. I have to lock and load you in. I, it, it is, I gotta add you to the email list, man. My bad, my bad, B. Hall, all right? I hope everybody had a great weekend, and I know a lot of people were playing, Florida, Texas. Um, some, you know, shout out to everybody that was, you know, uh, out there grinding away and, and their kids out there grinding away and trying to get some of that scholarship money that's out there man shout out to them man and um you know super excited to hear some new i saw some videos you know my guy my guys in my program from texas and um you know doing their thing and you know different parts of the country man and i got i'm almost getting one more kid in my pro program across the board on the on the recruiting side um add one more to the list um that will be signing um with the school all right um school one of those schools will be on the live stream on this weekend so it'll be super super cool man um so um let's just uh, let me see brenda what's good brenda what's going on tennessee in the house darius what's good all right happy new year to you too my man it's been a long time no doubt b hall what up jansen michigan in the house danny what's up michigan all right Deion, detroit in the house all right herman was good all right raymond got to see what's up doing what you're doing all right i gotta get my boy raymond on my boy man scouted me way back in the day i have to go way back and shout out to my boy i uh um this is the beauty of what you do man sometimes you know you run into cats that you haven't seen in a long time or heard from in a long time so hopefully my boy he may be tuning in right now i i you know we just met we literally just got out texting messing each other each other but shout out to my boy uh joe espada host you know uh i know i'm a host way spotter all right one of my former teammates man uh uh <laughs> yeah cynthia yeah good to see you too good to see you too cynthia all right good to see you hey can i get that t-shirt like you promised oh no no i don't want to wear that t-shirt yeah nah all right and uh but shout out to my girl cynthia out the louisiana all right who uh went through a tough loss this weekend all right shout out to my people out there louisiana all right still got love for you cynthia it is all good it's all good I'm, I'm i'm glad i'm glad you're a woman of your word, you know what I'm saying? And, and you at least you came here. Right? You ain't hiding out, all right? So, you know, and truth be told, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> all right, all right, truth be told, I'm, uh, I actually, 
reverse my bet behind the scenes on somebody and I bet the Saints too. So I can't even front. I, I lost a little something, but I still could make fun of you because I know I just did it because I had double or nothing. I had to go and risk it a little bit, man. But uh, yeah, so I, I took an L with them damn Saints this weekend too. So we on the same page. So, uh, but anyway, shout out to my boy Joe Spider, man. Hopefully, uh, maybe listening in and uh, um, one of my uh, longtime friends of mine and uh, ex teammate of mine who is the uh, coach at the Houston Astros. And I say this, and again, not to bother nobody, don't be bothering him. But if you are part of my private Facebook group, and if you haven't, if you're not, all right, it's the D Brown baseball fan page. All right, that's about 20,000 in there. And then you got the smaller, intimate group of D Brown baseball where you can post pictures of your kids, you know, ask questions. I kind of keep that real quaint. Um, but I, I, I've said this to everybody I told to, especially parents that are acquiring about my recruiting service or anything like that. I keep telling them, I said, listen, put your post. If you go, if you join me in my program or not, if you just join the group, Put, put your posters. I don't care if you have an eight-year-old or a, a college kid. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. That eight-year-old show progressions are going up. But I tell everybody, there's college coaches. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm giving you the, the skinny on this. All right? On a D Brown baseball private group, all right? Because I just said this. I'm about to tell you who's on, who a little bit who's in there, all right? You got private scouts. You know, you got major league scouts in there. You got scout scouts, all right? And I'm amateur scouts that's in there, all right? The guy that would be looking for your sons. You got major league scouts in there. You have um, ex major league players in there. All right. And you got guys like my boy, you know, Joe Espada, you know what I'm saying? Who is a current major league coach, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, is it's in that group. I'm not saying to go spam and join it. You know, that's not part of what I'm saying. Okay. What I am saying is that group, when you post pictures of your son, there are people that are important people who may be looking. I'm not saying they're going to sign your kid to a, a, a major league contract. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, be aware of, you know, because there's nothing bad going on there. I'm just saying sometimes I think there's a lot of talented kids in there and parents that have been part of that group or, you know, and kind of, you know, shy away uh, from posting away or, you know, they don't even know nothing about the private group. All right. So D Brown Facebook, you know, uh, D Brown Baseball, private Facebook group. Um, and the reason I'm bringing that up because my boy is father, you know, we were texting away here and there, but he's part of that private Facebook group, too. Not, not, you know, not to say to reach out. I'm not saying anything like that. It was good. That's my first. That's literally my messaging was the first time I even talked, messaged, communicated with my ex teammate of mine in, the, in at least 15 years. That's the beauty of Facebook, right? Beauty of connecting. And he's been doing this thing. He's a future major league manager. Um, been up for a couple of managing jobs already, um, and, and haven't crossed that line. But been a long time coach with the Yankees. And 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 re as recently with the uh, the Astro. So shout out to my boy Joe Spot. I'm trying to get him on the show. All right. So shout out to my boy, my ex teammate of mine. All right. Um, let me get into this content a little bit. All right. Today. All right. This 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 comes because uh, we <laughs> today. You know, again, I'm always looking for topics. I'm always looking for interest interesting things that are going on in the baseball world. And I know that this weekend. Um, you know, we had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, ball being played, and um, you know, I was always interested. I have, like I tell you, some of my kids that are in my program, and also, um, you know, fans of the show. And I get messages, and I, I know my boy Andrew Jones and CC Sabathia and those guys were all, you know, out there this past weekend in, in Texas. I know a couple of my followers and uh, um, the Wanas and and I. And Dallas and uh, a couple of my other guys uh, ha headed down to Florida. Um, it was a perfect game tournament down there, man. You know what I'm saying? So Romeo was good, was good, all right? And so I know there's a lot of ball being played. And um, shout out to my boy Looney, all right? You know, Roach, what's up, baby? All right, some of my ex pros over there, all right? Coach Calhoun was good. And uh, so one of the, uh, <laughs> The, the the messages I got from ex major league ball player too a uh, friend of mine I Brian Nelson was talking about how he was down there because he has a son that's playing and um you know that's why I say you just never know who's in the stands watching and you know you, you hear all these ex big league got kids now that are playing in these tournaments now too so they're they're not coaching they're there to, they're not here to be big leagues they're they're there to be dads you know what I'm saying but of course they're well connected too right but so they they these guys know the game. Right. These guys have been part of the major league. They, they play professionally, you know, many, many years. So they know how this game works. OK. And so one of the top one of the questions and topics that came, um, Rihanna, what's up? I, one of the one of the topics that came up was um, and my boy, shout out to my boy Nelly, who's who posted this. And I just thought it was um, very. 
I thought it was very uh, um, the timing of it for him to say that coming from this tournament. I guess it was more like a, a discouraging, you know, it was a lot of talent, but he's more discouraged also too. I'm like, what is going on, you know, with the you, you know, some of the ball ball being played with the amount of talent that's out there, with the amount of exposure that's out there, right? So um, anyway, he he just was, wasn't happy, and uh, and I wanted to kind of give you this three, you know, based off of what I've seen and over my years and how to help, you know what I'm saying, kind of guide you guys through this and give you guys good information on like, you know, just some certain certain three t three ways that you could kind of kill any type of scholarship offer. Uh, it could be even, you know, middle school going into high school, uh, but definitely pro side, pro scouts. I'm, I'm just telling you three ways you can kill your opportunities, okay? And this is something that we all know what's up, you know what I'm saying? So Stevie, what's good, baby? What's up, what's up, what's up, Stevie? All right, and so, uh, what a, what a, I wanted to hit these topics up so you guys, again, it's going to be stuff that you already heard, but obviously it's not certain players because I think a lot of times they think when, you, when you're super talented, and I want to kind of, you know, I'll, I've said this many times and some of these topics I've already talked about, but again, there's a lot of new listeners, um, you know, and, and, and I want to certain times, and you know, certain topics need to come up at certain times, and I feel like this is one, especially going into showcase time, high school season is about to start. You know, a lot of money is it's 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 not out there, but it's out there for the right people. OK, so, you know, it's already hard to get a scholarship. But right now, if you're 21, 22, it's even extremely it's more hard to get any type of money or anything like that. You know, what I'm saying from these colleges. So and if you're a younger kid, just take, you know, a younger you know parent with younger players, take this and run with this. You know what I'm saying? Because this will never change. All right. All right. Um, you know, what I'm saying no doubt. All right. Jacob. Yeah, what's up, D? Thanks for the feedback, my boy. Swing, thanks for all you do. No doubt, Jacob. I hope you can use that when I when I post it, and uh, you know, no doubt about it. And my people that be sent it's private Facebook group that's that's sending their kids. Trust me, I'm gonna get to them and try to give you my little critique. Um, I hate to critique when on in, in that private Facebook group group because you know, even I know I'm, I'm helping somebody, but I I want you to show what you got. You know what I'm saying in that page. So yeah, in my mind, in my little mind, if I'm sitting there highlighting the things that you're doing wrong, that coach that may be looking at this also going to see that and highlight that a little bit more too. Even though he's going to see it anyway, you know what I'm saying. But we go from there. All right, um, Jeremiah, shout out to my boy Jeremiah. I, I did get your message. I appreciate you reaching out to that coach out in Wisconsin, and we will definitely be. Um, uh, we would definitely be. Uh, I'll be trying to, you know, set something up in the fall, going up there to the great Wisconsin Ice World Showcase up there. Hopefully, we can make that happen. Ice, right, but I appreciate your help, Jeremiah. All right, D, what's up, baby? All right, Dejik, what's good? What's good, baby? Just talking about you something this this uh this morning, man. All right, shout out to little D, man. All right, came to my showcase, another D1 signee. All right, um, shout out to my boy Malachi. I'm gonna put a nice little posting. I right. came to my same showcase as uh, Dejik's son. Um, so when you, you know. And now Dejic son was already committed, so I can't say take credit for that. He already committed, but a guy like you know Malachi used that platform, showcase, did his thing, called the right people here and there, and um, the coaches called me, and I put the final touches on there to you know to vouch for the kid, and that's what I do. Okay, all right. So DeAndre H Town is in the building. All right, shout out to my people out there in H Town. All right, all right. So Cal is in the house. I'm gonna go and say hey, Greg. I bet you that's you. Okay. So let me get to these topic. Three things. Three things that I see. All right? Yeah, it is you. What's up, buddy? All right. So three ways. I, and I just want to say the more talented you are, the more these scouts are going to dissect your game. Because I think some certain people get it twisted. Some people think that, you know, my kid is talented, but not as talented as this guy. So, you know, this scout is going to really dissect my game because, you know, I'm not as good as so-and-so. No. All right. The better you are, all right, the more the scouts dissect your game because, you know, the reason that you're that good is because of the tools, right? You got all the tools. You can run, throw, hit, and all of that. But that's when they start dissecting you more because the, the better you are, all right, the more money they're going to invest in you, all right? Either scholarship money or, you know, but the pros is, you know, that's what it's all about, okay? It's investment capital, okay? That's being poured into a player, okay? So it's no different than a bank. You know, I always say this, right? When you go trying to, you know, get a loan from a, for a house or a mortgage or, or a car note or something like that, you know, you know, banks' purpose is that they're not like out to really – they want to make money by giving you loans, but they're they're most of the time they're sitting there trying to find ways and all that to not give you the loan, right? So this is this is, and I, I know it sounds crazy, but I want you to understand: the better you are as a player, okay, the the more 
these scouts and evaluators and recruiters dissect your game, all right? Because they already know you got the tools. You throw 94. You run the 6-5. You, you, you know, you're big. You're strong. You hit the ball out of the park and all of that, right? So now they, they eliminate the tools aspect of it, right? So now they want to get into the player, all right? And that's when they start dissecting every little thing about you as a player. What, what, what can't you do, all right? What makes you tick? What, you know, what, what kind of attitude, what kind of family you have, all right? All these little things over there, you know, goes into, you know, how much money they're going to pour in you. And the more money that they feel that they're going to pour in you, the more they're going to really dig, dig deep, all right? If you, if you are a pro prospect and you understand me and I'll bring on some more pros, you, you know, I have my boy Cedric Mullins on it the other day, but you will see, all right, they will go around the town, they will ask your teachers, they will ask, you know, I know when I was getting drafted, I was I would hear different people from the gas station dude that ran that ran the local gas station to the deli owner, you know what I'm saying, up the street, you know what I'm saying? Like they was like, yo, the, the scouts was in here asking about you and what type of character you had. I was like, What? He was like, Yeah, in the, in the local deli. You know what I'm saying? They was in the local deli asking asking the owner, yo, do you know who the more brown is? Yeah, you know, what kind of kid is he? You know, that so I'm, I'm just saying, you know, what I'm saying the more money that they feel that they want to invest in, you the know, more it ain't going to ask your family and your mom and dad how they feel about you. Right. They're going to ask, you know, so and so up the street, the mechanic in, 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 the, in the shop or, the you know, the store owner, right? the principal at the school that your teachers, you know, what I'm saying. So just understand. Right. So when you are going to these showcases, I just want to put that in your mind. All right. The better you are, the more you are going to get scrutinized. You're going to be looked at differently. OK. Three ways that can kill you, all right? Kill any opportunity, all right, for you, okay? Because when we're talking part of the 93% that get into college, 93% 93 that don't get into college, 7% that do make it, all right? Um, yeah, of course, man. It's Pat, you know, we talk about social media. And I'm, I'm, I just went through that the other day with, in, my, in my small group that, that pay for my uh, uh, trainings on the uh, non-course module and the road steps it takes to get to college baseball. And shout out to my to my parents that's paid for that. That I just went over the whole uh, hour talking about you know how to move, use social media, how to build a personal brand. That's part of you know um, the trainings that I've I've been doing at night. You know what I'm saying? All right. But um, this is you know all right. Shout out to my girl Yamina. All right. Shout out to my boy David out there in Arkansas. Uh, be good to see you guys this weekend. All right down there. So what's going on when you're being dissected? All right. I'm gonna give you these three tips. All right how you can kill any opportunity that you think you want to have okay and especially for the super talented I, I want you guys to hear this okay all right Keish, what's good what's going on Keish? all right number one okay big one body language okay and i see certain kids are super talented right there's one thing that has swag and there's another thing to be like lazy i'm too cool for school look okay and I and everything I'm gonna say, trust me, listen. I hope y'all all listening. I say I look in the camera for this. I hope all y'all listen to this, okay? These are issues, these are stuff that I dealt with personally, okay? When you the man, it's cool, but when you're not necessarily going down that road to be the man, these all these things can haunt you. Okay. So at, at least two out of the three of these three things are, are something that I struggle with personally, that I make sure that any player that I'm dealing with on, on, in my showcase or, or in a team or I'm talking to a young individual, I make sure that they do not do themselves. All right. All right. Shout out to Shell. What's good? Shell, what's going on? All right. Um, your thoughts on NCSA. All right, Charlie, I'll get to that, man. I'll get into that. I appreciate you coming on. Right. So three things. First thing, all right, body language. All right. I want to get into this. Baseball is a long, it's a long, drawn out, boring sport. Okay, I'll be the first to tell you. Okay, it's a long, drawn out, boring sport. But there's little, it's, it's excitement in the game, right? But it's a, it's a, it's a long game. All right, you got three hour, two, three hour games, and it's, you know, a lot of downtime in between, and it's spurts here and there. But if you, if you have this, like this, this, if you get off, it's, it's one to be super cool. But on the other hand, it's one of those that it's not. It could be looked at as your language you, you, you don't look like you're out there enjoying your game all right because you know people that have that like low demeanor smooth walk it, it can also go as laziness you know you strike out your head go down and you walk back slow it could be determined as like oh he just go get him next time or it could be like look he got his head down and he's pounding you see what i'm saying and my, my gm used to say this with me with the royals he's always said this you know your perception is reality right so you you may perceive yourself wrong right but 
you know, I mean, you may perceive yourself one way, but how we looking at you is, 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 is what counts. All right. So he said, our perception of you is your reality. He used to always say that to me. And I used to be like, yo, but I ain't. He's like, I don't care what you think. All right. He was like, yo, what you think you're doing is totally different how we see. You. All right. Because to me, I'm just I'm like, I'm just walking like, yo, I've struck out. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking he's like, yeah, but you walk with your head down and all of that perception is that you're not happy with the game. You're not happy. You know what I'm saying? You're down and out and all of these other things. And I'm just like, all right. So, again, everything I say is from personal experience. OK. All right. To here to help you. OK. So I'm, I'm saying this. It's a fine line between cool and there's a fine line. One person may perceive it as cool. The next person may be like, oh, bad body language. He think he's too cool for the game. Oh, oh, wait till he strikes out and all that. You may be walking, bopping like that. And one one scout may perceive it as like, oh, he go get him. The next person be like, yeah, look at him. He, you know, look at it. Look how he walks. Yeah. He, he, you know, he bopping and all of that. I mean, look at his head down and everything. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, I don't know if you really want it. Look at his body language. And then they're going to look at you, grab your hat and helmet. And, I mean, grab your hat and glove, and as you run out into the field, right, you could you could run out the same way you did in the first inning, but now that they've seen you and they've seen you strike out and they've seen you with your head down, you, they think you know. So now their their first their their perception of you it is what it is. So that same jog, that same speed that you had in the first inning, but now you're in the third inning after you don't strike out one or two times. All right, now it becomes yeah, he don't want it. Look how you're running out there. I'm telling you how this how this thing works. I I'm on the other side now. Okay. So when it comes to body language, and I, I get on my own daughter about this, okay? Because sometimes she mosey around in between points and picks up balls, and, you know, she can be winning or losing, and, you know, one dad may say, oh, I love her demeanor. The other dad may say, like, you know, your body language ain't right. It, it, it's dads one day, but it could be scouts the next day. Do you understand what I'm saying to you guys? All right? So body language, one way they can get killed. How do you improve? Somebody, Some people just can't help who, you know, they, they're slow movers. They're, they're whatever, all right? I used to have my coach used to tell me one of my coach, and I'm giving personal stories. It is what it, he used to tell me, take some greenies, man. I pump, you know, greenies was like an illegal substance that, you know, ball players used to use. But it was a way of like to be like an energy, like taking three, three monster drinks. You know what I'm saying? But he was like, yo, take that just to, you know, get you get you pumped up and going. And I was like, yo, you want me to take drugs to, to you know, whatever. He was like, whatever it takes for you to just, you know, look more excited. <laughs> and I was like, all right. All right. But these 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 are just what I'm saying to you. All right. My body language was cool, laid back. You know, it is what it is, right? To them, it's like, yo, you lazy, you move too slow. All right? So I'm just saying, body language. One way it could be killed. You may think, oh, a small little thing. It's not small to these people, especially with money is being involved, scholarship money or pro money being thrown at you, okay? Second part, and I get to everybody's comments and questions. I got you guys. Please hang in there with me. I, got, I promise you. Let me get through these. All right, second one. Arguing balls and strikes. And parents, this is for you too, because when, when the scouts and, and evaluators are at, they're, they're evaluating you too. Okay. So if the kid is over there getting upset and, and, and throwing helmets and tantrums and looking back at the kid, the umpire and, and, and all of that, that strikes against him. Parents, if you out there are, if you ever, and I know you're into the game and everything, but you over there yelling through the net, come on, and, uh, you know, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Let me just give you a little tip, right? Let me give you a tip. And I've said this multiple times, but I want you guys to hear this and hear me clear. Okay. Um, my boy Brent Maine, okay, uh, he caught 15 plus years in the major leagues. I want to say at least 15, okay? He caught 15 years in the major leagues, all right? And again, personal stories. <laughs> I always give you personal stories, all right? I got, I stuck out in the game and I was mad as I don't know what. I, we all been there, parents, and you know what I'm saying, and players, right? And I'm, I'm open and I'm mad. He, he, he came and sat me down here, okay? And again, it didn't make me feel no better for the next time I thought I got hosed on a call, right? But it, it just put things in perspective, especially now that I'm not playing in the game. So I understand a, a, an umpire, you know, not calling whatever from a coaching side or a parent side and definitely from a player side. I get it, all right? But here it is. This is the major leagues now, okay? And and, and they may not have all, you know, back then they, the tracks and all of that, the, the, the technology they have now here and there. But my boy Brent Mayne was his own analytic guy who caught 15 plus years in the major leagues would say, listen, D, I just want to let you know, out of all the years that I've been catching, 15 years at that time he'd been catching in the major leagues. He said, on an average, a major league umpire misses, he goes, I think about 14 calls every game, 14. He didn't say 15 or 20. He said the exact number of, of 14 calls per game between strikes and balls. Now, it may be strike three, it may be strike one in an AB, okay? 
but on an average, and these are major league umpires, not to say that they're the best, but if, if a major league average, these are guys that get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars per year to make, you know, those type of calls and everything you could, you know, college is going to be a little, minor league is going to be a little less, college is going to be a little less, high school and, you know, youth baseball, you, you, you already know what's up. Okay. So, so when you out there arguing, all right, I want to keep things in perspective. Okay. You want, uh, I wish you had major league baseball games at a 12 year old game a 14 or a 17 year old showcase when we're scholars and college scouts are in, in the audience and stuff. You know, I, I wish it. Okay. But in the major leagues, they miss 14 calls per, per game, 14 average. Okay. Now it made it improved here and there. Cause we're talking, you know, 15 plus years ago. Okay. All right. It might have changed. It might not. OK. But 14 calls in a major league game is missed every day. All right. Every major league game, 14 calls is missed. All right. You damn sure you better double that or whatever. You better. You know, it's going to be five in the minor league, extra five on top of that. So that's 20 missed, five, 20, 19 to 20 calls. Another another five missed in in, in, in college and high school. OK. And then and, and, and youth baseball space, you damn damn sure 25 plus. 30 pitches or so are going to be missed. Okay. I hate to tell you, it is what it is. Okay. So you can get mad and I understand that it's going to be frustrating and all of that. But the worst thing you could do is go there and argue and put on a big front and, 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 and show, you know what I'm saying, and blow up and all of that, especially when the buyer is evaluating you because what do you think they're here to do? Okay. I keep telling you the higher, the better the player that you are, the more they're going to evaluate everything else with your game. Why? Well, what other way to, to, to evaluate you is how you, how you handle adversity. How you handle a bad call? So if they see you take your helmet off or, or go and turn towards the umpire and, and make a big, you know, hand motion and do all this craziness and hit there, you're killing your chances. Okay. Now that guy that oh he can't handle adversity, and I, and that's all you need is just this one, you know, certain guy may be like oh he's he's passionate, all right, all right. You get that one scout that may say he's passionate, but then you got two other ones that say like listen, all right, he he doesn't handle adversity well, all right, because it could become a bad call. Right. They could again, it just takes one little, you know, whatever to put that doubt in their head to be one bad call affected his A B, right? So the next time he makes an error in the alpha, that may affect his whole game. Okay, this one A B that he just missed right here may affect three A Bs. All right. Can we trust that that one pitch that got called a ball? I mean called a strike, that was a ball. All right. Can we trust that, you know, he can, you know, Musa, chill out for a little bit and come right back and go get him. Okay. They want to see you fail. They want to see how you handle it. Again, the better you are, the more they're going to dissect you. OK, and I want you guys to understand this because every parent on here that I'm listening to either in college or been signed or eventually will get signed. I'm hoping. OK, so essentially do not. I'm talking, you know, I'm talking pro scouts and, and scouts and all that type of stuff. Now, I'm talking part of the seven percent, seven percent that's out here right now that's trying to wanting signed already or wanting to get into college. All right. So you are the upper echelon. OK. Of your of your particular class, you are the upper echelon, okay? So you know, I'm, I'm you you may be thinking I'm talking scouts and 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 for these one percent of the one percent. No, I'm talking about the seven percent out here that you know what I'm saying you are part of that, all right? Especially if you are 21, 20, 22, where the scholarship money is very limited and all that type of stuff. You got you don't don't do anything crazy to, you know, mess that up, okay? Third, third, all right? The most important of this, all right, is the hustling part. Body language, a little different than hustling, all right? I promise you. Um, who did I have a conversation with this the other day? Um, I can't, it was some college scout or somebody, I, mean, I can't remember who I was, but it, we were talking about players. And uh, um, I just want to, I, I just want you to understand this, man. People will, people will already look at the underdog and root for the underdog. If you could give me 11, 12 dudes that I feel like will run through a wall, will hustle and everything, all right? He may not have all the tools and the power and all of that, but that six tool, that little, that that's the intangibles and that's the hustle part running on off the field first okay you know like just just balls to the wall you know what I'm i didn't have it that gene was not put in me and and i remember this coach used to say this to me you know what i'm saying um you know he used to say this to me all the time and he used to say yo dear he's like i know you i know you get mad at us you know me as a coach and all of that for for 
you know, getting on you by running and all that type of stuff. Because I used to feel like I ran hard, but it wasn't hard enough, right? And he was like, wait till you become a coach yourself. He was like, wait till you become a coach and you're going to see some kid that you know is extremely fast, not running their fastest. It's going to irritate the hell out you. And, and sure enough, like, I think about that, man. You know what I'm saying? All right. I just had a conversation earlier today and I was talking about a couple of players, man. And I, you know, I really liked and, and family wise and everything, man. But I'm like, certain times I just wonder, man, like, you know, that the hustle gene ain't necessary in them all the time. And I, in this game, man, when it comes again, everything, tools, everything, the higher you go, the more they even out. You know what I'm saying? But then it becomes those little intangibles, man. All right. You know, real talk. How, do, how, do, how does D Brown, right? A first round pick. You know, all everything. I was a top, top, top ten. All the minor leaguers. You know what I'm saying? Going in, you know, whatever, right? You know, how do I, you know what I'm saying? Like, not spend 10, 15 years and make, you know, a hundred some million dollars, and and then I go and I, I used to practice. I practice one off season. Shout out to my boy Rick Estine, um, my hitting coach of the Pirates. I've known him for for a long time, and and I, I've known his brother for a long time. You know, if, if you guys ever want to look up this guy, David Eckstein. All right, David Eckstein. I remember on the way up through the minor leagues, got cut. Double A, we played in the Maryland Fall League together. I promise you, I, I'm just being straight up with you. I used to be like, Ugh, you know, when, I, he set all type of records, University of Florida. But when you go into the pro side, you know, Florida or or Florida International or, or Southwestern, Wallabash, you know, Christian Community College State, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. It's who can play, right? So he came from Florida. But I was like, yo, I ain't impressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, And he ended up getting released right after that Fall League. All right? Got released. And double A, I be damn, all right. You know, I skyrocket to the major leagues. Here he come a year later. I didn't even know he signed back with another team. And and next thing you know, uh, we we in the major leagues during the same time. And the next year, he's playing shortstop for the California Angels, all right. As, and in the starting shortstop, they won a ring with the California Angels in 02. You guys can look him up, all right. And I promise you, all right. I was like, what is, <laughs> yo, even in infield, you take it, he takes the infield and I'd be like, Ugh, you know what I'm saying? Like barely gets the ball over and all of that, right? I trained with him one all season with his brother because his brother was a hitting coach who, who's currently the Pittsburgh Pirates hitting coach now. But back then he was my hitting coach, okay? And I love what he was to do, man. Uh, I used to be like, yo, you know, like I, I went down there and trained in Orlando with them and um, shout out to my boy Ricky Weeks. I'm trying to get Ricky on there. Ricky was down there with me. Uh, my boy uh, Felipe Lopez, um, Edwin Encarnacion was down there. Uh, Chris Nelson, shout out to my boy Chris Nelson, first round out here in Atlanta. Um, uh, shoot, it was a bunch of Zach Grinky was out there. Uh, Tim Range Jr. So anyway, we just out, I'm naming a bunch of guys. I right? just training, going to get it right. When I saw that kid hustle, man, I saw him, his workout regimen. And I love the workout. I, I I train. I still train heavy, you know, whatever. But when I see that dude, his training regimen, his exercising, his 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 work ethic. All right. So we talk. Both my boy, boys, boys, melons, and and his son said, you know, what I'm saying, came on the other day and talked about that. Right. Thirteenth round, uh, five eight, whatever. Get you know, not playing in high school much, and you see why these guys end up, you know, doing what they do. That's so when I saw my man work out. I, I got a front row seat for about four weeks and just seeing him train, train, and train. I said, okay, all right. I'm 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 on my way out of the major leagues. He just signed a three or four year deal. You know what I'm saying? Ended up playing like 12, 15 years in the major leagues. And I'm not saying I didn't work hard, but right, but he had that hustle gene that it took that he just stayed around. And it was like, and he was, I mean, I, and I, I know I can get him on here and I know he would confess and say this. So when I talk about this, talent is not everything, all right? Because I'm, I was, I'm promise you, there's no way it, me and him will be in the same field as far as talent, all right? But what the separator was when that dude over there, you know what I'm saying? When he was told no, it was, you know, whatever. We all get told no and all of that. I stayed 16 years professionally and all of that, but he stayed 15 years major league wise and killed it. You know what I'm saying? Made a nice little contract, made some bread and stuck in there. You know what I'm saying? All right. It's, it's, I'm just saying. All right. So when I talk, when I talk from these, I talk from a, a straight experience and I don't sit here and sugarcoat. I don't, you know, I say former fake major leaguer and former first round picker. Those are facts, right? All right, but I also get deep and I keep it 100. Okay, these are these are you know. So when a dude goes out there, you know what I'm saying, and has way less talent and everything, but it's that little bit of a hustle factor. All right, that little extra little. Uh, when I tell you he struggled to throw the ball across the field, like and he's like, uh, all right. But with the intensity that he played with on a regular basis, the 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 little stuff that you know, I used to just be like, yo, and I and I'm like, 
And then after that, after that working out, you know what I'm saying? I used to just be like, yo, all right, I respect you. All right. I see, I see. All right. And five or six years ago, we, you know, I mean, at that time, I want to say eight years earlier, you just getting released from double A. Yeah. Right? Eight years later, you know what I'm saying? You're signing a multi-year deal in the major leagues. All right. I'm just telling you, man, hustle, 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 hustle. That will go so that 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 is that is a that is a personal thing. That ain't got nothing to do with talent. You know what I'm saying? Nothing to do with talent. And I and I and I say this because I was just talking about another kid today too, and I was like, yo, he got all the talent in the world, but I don't like how he stays back. So he kind of too cool and reserved. He's he in the background too much. Because I know, I know, I see it. I believe. It. You trust me. That was me and all of that. That that demeanor, that that yo, I'm talented. Let me just kind of fall back. I'll be the last to hit. I'll be the last to go run the sixty. I'll be the last to go, you know, whatever. Get on the field on that last stuff. You know what I'm saying? That that you, you get washed out of this game quick, fast, in a hurry. Just real talk, y'all. All right. Hope y'all feel me on this, man. All right, I'm giving y'all 100 straight. All right. I always try to keep it as real as I can with y'all, man. Good, bad, and different. All right. Cool. Three tips. All right. Three ways. Keep it 100 with y'all. Hope you're ready for that realness, man. Y'all, y'all feel me on that real? You know, I hope y'all feel me. I hope y'all don't look no. I hope y'all don't look less on me now. You know what I'm saying? But I just keep it 100 with y'all. All right. My boy Don says, "What up, Coach? Great info. Showcases or recommendations for a 12U and 14U? Is it too early? A 12U? Yeah. 14U. Entering high school? Yeah. Come on. All right. Definitely want to play showcases when you, you know, and certain like going to colleges, especially getting on the college campus at 14. And no, no, doesn't hurt to get on a radar. But 12U, nah." All right. And when I when I say again, even at the 14, if you ain't ready for like the perfect game, the PBRs, somebody like my showcases and stuff like that, where I have college coaches there. All right. Because the PBRs, again, perfect game of some of these PBR tournaments, they're just dot, jotting down. They don't necessarily have colleges there and they're just getting your numbers. OK. And they're going to post it on the uh, on your on, on your profile that you create. And that's going to be there for years to come or until you change it. So if you ain't out there running high level type stuff. I know it feel, probably feels good to get an evaluation from, you know, that's a whole nother ball game. I right? sometimes I don't even know who the evaluators are, who, who's truly, you know, I mean, who, I mean, some kid might play college baseball and may know what he's looking at, but then there are other kids that, you know, you know, other people that may be buying evaluations on your son that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Might've played a little lick of college or something like that, but he ain't no true evaluator. Okay. He don't know what to look at, but he's just hired by this group to, to do what they do. So my point is, all right, um, if you're ready to put yourself out in the PBRs and the perfect game, you know, profiles and stuff like that, um, you know, make sure you got the numbers behind it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you got the numbers behind it. Now, it ain't going to hurt if you're halfway decent. Like, you may not have a 60 time yet and all of that, but you can play. And you're a freshman or 14, you know, 14, 15 you, and you can play a little bit. You got some tools. All right. You know, then go to the college, you know, uh, 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 showcases. You know what I'm saying? Those those camps and stuff get on those college radars all right because they're, they're smart enough to understand like okay you're running a, a seven five right now as a 14 you know with a little training and stuff like that by the time you're 16 you you, you know i mean you just heard my boy cedric mullins you know uh say that he he ran a damn seven flat out of high school right he trained 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 and got you know bigger stronger and he's running a six four a couple years later all right so all right uh, thank you, thank you so much. The player is not bigger than the game. What do you think about the pitchers talking, talking to players from the mound and and, and the excessive bat flipping, uh, nor the normal flips, but something om almost yeah. I, I see that too. That irritates me, and I I'll be the first to tell you I was one of those guys that used to watch my home runs and do all of that. But sometimes I just, you know, it irks me when I see younger pit, you know, younger dudes doing it. I I don't know what it is, man. And I know we want to keep it fun, and I I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? Especially the big leagues. Like I'm all for those dudes that hit 2025. 20, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Like go, you know what I mean? But for a kid that may hit three three home runs, you know what I'm saying? The whole the whole season for him to hit one and then pimp it, and you know I'm like, boy, please, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I ain't trying to be the, you know, I'm just saying you can walk it, see it, but it's the sometimes, you know, it's the back flipping and all that, you know. One, I remember this this story I had when I was I was coaching a 13 year old team, super talented kid from Meridian, Louisiana, Meridian, Mississippi, and uh he hit a bomb an absolute bomb i got to the point where i why he hit it i watched it like this and all of a sudden he i see him at the corner of my because i'm looking at the ball like this i'm sitting on the bit you know i'm sitting in the bucket on a, on the first base side and he hit the hell out that ball and i'm watching it like this towards left center 
And all of a sudden, I see him kind of moseying by me like this. But then I hear the bat scraping all by me. He damn near threw the bat at, at, at me. Like, I had to move my feet, you know what I'm saying, on the first day because he did all of this, right? So, I'm, you know, here I am. I'm, I'm super, you know, I'm like, D, this kid's 13, man. You can't throw at him, man. Don't, don't, you know, because I'm contemplating either teaching him a lesson or, you know, like, you know, letting it go or saying something to him, all three, you know? So I, you know, I'm just like, all right, I'm like, I can't throw at the kid because I don't, I don't want my picture, you know, like, <laughs> I don't want my picture to, you know, be scared up there because I told him, you know, to throw at a kid and he, because they don't, they don't really know at 13 or 14, right? They're not really understanding, right? But the pro side of me, right? And I've done, I know walked in plenty. I was like, I need to teach this kid a lesson. I said, nah, but I ain't going to do it. All right. So what I did was, he was a catcher. So the next day he out there, I, I waited until he got down in his stance. And I just said, listen, I said, I'm more, I'm more for you, you know, hitting a home run and watching it. I'm cool. All right. But I said, just understand sometimes when you out there throwing a bat around, I said, it comes with consequences. And I said, you know, I said, don't, don't get up, just stay there. And I, cause he was catching the ball and I just was in his ear like this. I said, the next time I'm just telling you, Watch when you throw the back, because the next time I promise you, you're going to get hit right here. And I pointed at his ribs, right? And he felt me. He was like, all right, coach, I got you. Sorry about that. I said, nah, you good. I said, keep hitting them home runs just like that. I I said, just be careful, though. All right, just be careful. Well, you throwing bats and all of that type of stuff. And, you know, you watch too much TV. More power to you. Go and try to hit two more against us. You know what I'm saying? That's how how I talk. You know what I'm saying? But I I had to, you know, and I I, I was contemplating, like, throwing at him. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) The competitive nature in me. All right? So I say that to say I'm all for it. Listen, it's a way you pimp and the way you strike out. I'm all for that. I love that game. I love that game. You know what I'm saying? But when you when you throw and keeping your bat up and you walk, you walk all the way to first base, you know what I'm saying? Holding your bat, you know what I'm saying? Or you you flipping the bat to the other side of the damn dugout and, and the coaches got to move their feet and all of this. That's too much. All right? Hit your home run, take three or four steps, watch it. You know what I'm saying? You can hold it, whatever, put it down and go do your thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm all for that. I am all for that. All right. It's just it's just a little bit too much type of thing. Put your little twist on it and go. So to answer your question, Ivy, uh, sometimes it irritates me. I, I hate to be the old guy and all of that, but you know, if you you hit you hit something and you 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 right there and you watch it, I'm like, yo, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you know you got it. All right, because there's some guys out there pimping and they ain't got it. They hitting it to the wall. You know what I'm saying? Don't be embarrassed like that. All right. And the pitch is talking mess. Listen, you know. You know, it is what it is, man. I played with my boy Jose Lima. He used to talk as much junk as possible, but when he when he started losing his stuff, <laughs> the, everybody remember when he used to strike him out and do his little dance. All right, uh, all right. Charlie says, Charlie Bowers, your thoughts on NCSA? Listen, I've been, they've been around. I know those guys over there. Um, I'm gonna be, just be honest with you. Um, uh, all right. Um, listen, uh, Charlie. So I just saw your other message too, man. So. Um, one of the things that uh, I believe in CSA, and I, I, you know, again, and I'm not going to bash, you know, some people believe in it. Um, one of my first ever shows I did two plus years ago was a parent that was in my own program, and they used NCSA. All right, when I ran travel teams, they used field level and NCSA, and he just felt like NCSA wasn't all of that. Field level was a little better. Um, you know, they have a that large database and all of that, and they send blast emails out. Um, I don't do that with my program. I, we we, we kind of, you know, pinpoint, you know, I want, I don't have access to all thousands. I don't do all that. You know what I'm saying? To me, I have, you know, a hundred some schools that I'm, you know, super tight with and cool with for the most part. And we dissect and I'm saying, you get 10, you get 10. All right. And if you, you know, we go from there. All right. I don't blast out to my whole whatever, because then that, that, that looks bad on me. If I'm just blasting away on, on, on to, to all 100 schools that I'm cool with. I'm just blasting every player that comes into my program and that don't that don't do me, you know. Why, why if you're not a Georgia kid, you know what I'm saying, a Georgia caliber kid, why, why would I send an email to you, hey, check out, the, I don't do that, you know what I'm saying? So to me, I evaluate you as a player, you know what I'm saying? And it could be swing, it could be on the field and all of that, and sometimes I may be wrong, but for the most part, I'd rather be safe than sorry, meaning like, listen, I don't think you're a D1 player, I'm gonna send these, these group of, you know, schools you know what I'm saying? Your information. Okay. So anyway, to answer your question, um, it's a purpose. Training's pretty good and all of that. But if you're looking for anything, you know, like to, um, you know, for a recruiting side of anything, help like that, you might as well come on over here with me. 
and join, you know, what I'm doing because I ain't going to blast, you know, one, I don't have that big of a database of schools, right? good or in bad. I don't know how you feel about that. Uh, but I mean, you see the pre- you see you see every coach that comes on my show. You know, what I'm saying it's a, it's a appreciative of it's not like, hey, they're there. You know, what I'm saying to to hook me up. It's like, yo, they're appreciative of that. And this that type of talk. And hey, send me some kids. Oh, damn. Be, uh, yeah, I would love it, please. You know, what I'm saying oh, we lo- looking for talent. You know, we, we trust we trust who you send to us. All right. So mine is more of a personal touch. OK, so again, I'm not dogging CSA, but if you want more of a personal touch, more direct approach to helping what comes to school instead of a blast and let's just throw it out there and see what we get. Because you, you you hear you, if you, I know, Charlie, you may not have been a long time. You know, this may be your first time or two on the show. But if you listen to a lot of these old interviews with college coaches and stuff, these guys are not stupid. They see the blast emails that get that, that get sent to them. You know what I'm saying? So they know when it's like there's no personal touch to them. They know that, all right? But if they get a phone call from me, one, okay? And maybe an email later of like, yo, you know what I'm saying? This is my guy, you know, look at it. Let me let me know what you think. It's a whole lot different than a blast email. All right, with no personality to it, okay? Um, and you say, try have a 25 solid play. Anyway, I can send some game footage of BP. I would like to get to your showcases. You come highly recommended. Charlie, no doubt about it, man. Send me some, um, some film on them and I'll evaluate your kid and, um, my showcases are not for 2025s yet, you know what I'm saying? But um, you definitely can't get to my, uh, you definitely can't get to my um, showcases, all right? So, Sergio was good, Shell was good, all right? Let me see, make sure I not up here. All right, D, I liked it when the coach you had on last week said that he liked to video of kids striking out to see their body language that was first yes that was a first and and um can't remember what coach it was but i, I want to say it was was a coach roof or um gosh i just remember um one of the coaches that was on the show last week said that how uh, he and i was i love that uh, he was like yo I, you know why don't you show not just the good part but show him striking out and show him his body language all right because we always want to highlight and you know rightfully so but you know, just to get a change, especially during these COVID times, they want to like get everything they can with this play. I want you to show him striking out. And <laughs> that sounds crazy, right? We're walking back to the dugout to see what he does. I hope, and I obviously hope you don't throw the helmet, do nothing crazy, then you got to do some strong editing, right? Wink. All right. So Masha says, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. Coach Terrence, appreciate that. All right. All right. Uh, John says, great advice, D. A lot of these young players have so much potential and lose it after a bad play or play appearance. My high school coach in Liberty, Sam Sanders Jr., would always instill this into us to keep cool. You would get them next time and keep your head up. And didn't matter if it was on a, on a it was on the ball field or on the hardwood. No doubt, man. All right. All right. Keenan, what's good, baby? All right. What was number two? You mean it? What was number two? All right. We have body language. Was number one, all right. The uh, well, hustle was number two, and then I, yeah, then I mentioned number three. I, I know I did mention number three. Gosh, all right, I gotta remember. All right, arguing balls and strikes. All right, you mean arguing balls and strikes? Okay, we're talking about the umpire arguing. All right, so that was number two. All right, my son's, I, I had to remember myself. You had me scared. All right, um, my son signed his commitment yesterday. He is not the biggest or strongest, but he is the first one on the field, the last one off. More power to you, man. I, I got to see who this is, man. I uh, and I want to congratulate you, man. And um, um, that's awesome. All right, that is awesome. Coach Eaton, what's good, baby? All right, Craig, what's up? Bernie, what's up? Jim, what's up? All right, Jim. All right. We met last year in Nashville. My son played with J Mac. All right, yeah, Jim. You know, I remember. Yes, yes. Congratulations, man. All right. What's up, D? What are you hearing about college camps opening back up in April? I have not heard anything. Um, I have not offered. I have not offered. I haven't heard anything uh, about. Um, let me let me put it up there. All right. But anyway, shout out to my boy Jim. I remember you, Jim. That's the beauty of this, man. All right. Um, Jim was from Phoenix, Arizona. All right. And he came out to Nashville with one of my old my boys. All right. One of my ex teammates of mine, J Mac, Jason McDonald, played in the big leagues. It was his coach and. He was a fan of the show, you know, way living, listening to me out there in Arizona, came out there, introduced himself to me. And um, 
yeah, out there in Nashville in two, summer 2019. And now his kid just got committed to the school. And, uh, you know, congratulations. All right. Congratulations to you, Jim. I definitely uh, I definitely remember having that conversation with you out there in the field over there in uh, Belmont University's field. I remember that. God, I got a good memory. Oh, let me pat myself on the back. All right. All right. Uh, Lamont, 100% learn. All right. Uh, learn from your mistakes. Don't dwell on them. Play with heart and determine it goes a long way. No doubt. All right. Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right. I saw that. Okay. Patience is the key. Good advice is gold. Yes, right. Do you ever do you ever host showcases on the web? Hey, Greg, all right. You know, Greg and who else? Uh, Gina. Yeah, I, I'm. we on it, man. We on it. We trying to make this happen, man. You know, Cali got the door shut down, but we trying to make that happen, Daniel. All right. You definitely trying to make that happen sooner than later. All right. If you don't have three tools out of five, just keep working for real. All right. No doubt. I mean, hell, a lot of people make one, got one tool, you know, and, and make millions off of that. So just just keep working, like you said, man. But you can make it with one or two tools, just depending on what tools is needed. Because if you bless with a strong right arm, <laughs> you can make a lot of money all left arm. All right. You, ain't, you could be look at David Wells and a bunch of other guys. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no athletes, but they just bless with a left arm or right arm. What's up, Doug? What are you hearing about college cancer? I, I, I hope I answer that question. Too. I don't know at this time. Um, I don't know, bro. Um, I, 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 they're mo most of the time, I believe that they're going to open back up, especially where you're at it down in Texas. All right. Uh, why do kid? Why do kids so much? It's why do kids need so much attention nowadays? You make a play, you hit a great home run. Just do it again. If you're good, the talent will show. You don't need to show it off. It's different when. It's just enthusiasm and excitement, but the intentional look at me is annoying. I, I yeah, I, I'm right there with you. You know what I'm saying? It's just it, it is the nature of it, but it is. I this is my 14U player out of Gulfport, Mississippi, plays with Jeffrey Barney. He is he is being followed by Xavier, UT, and Arlington and Georgetown. All right, Preston. All right, go join my private Facebook group. Put his information in there, man. All right, some more schools that's in there. Okay. Uh, you offer quality over quantity, no doubt about it. All right, I think you see who wrote that. All right. I think my boy Woody. Yeah, yeah, my boy. Shout out to my boy Woody out there. All right. All right. See you soon, Coach. Yeah, no doubt, man. All right. Um, do you have a date for a showcase in Houston, Texas? We're tentatively talking May. In May. We're tentatively talking in May in Houston. All right. Um, that's been what we're shooting for. Okay. And I got it. I'm a shout out to my boy Pudgy. We're working on it out there. And then on the flip side, I'm also talking with uh, Coach uh, Coach Riggins over there at Prairie View. All right, putting something together. But I can't I, with him. I have to wait until the whole COVID thing is you know lot you know out of the way. And so I may just come out there before and not on the college campus and do a showcase. So we're talking tentatively May 22nd or 20 something. I can't. I think I know May 20 15th or 22nd something in there. All right, tentatively. All right, not you know in Houston. Okay, but I will let you know, man. All right, the Porter, I will definitely let you know. Uh, Coach, the largest largest school in that state has canceled all sub varsity. This in this will be two years with no you know always seems like baseball is showing this thing. Suggesting the students. Of, all right, what part of where you were? Let me see who says this. All right, all right. Um, all right, I don't know if you could just tell me where you're at. All right, um, give me a little you know let me know where you're at. Okay. The city, because that's that's why I wanted to do something in Cali, because I, you know, they are, they may be in the same boat too. Okay, uh, coach, I sent some footage on a fourteen year old. Please check them out. Appreciate any feedback, left handed, no doubt. Cage, I've been looking too. I've been looking in the other groups too. So thank you, though. I'll definitely take a look. Um, definitely saving saving this live to my twelve year old son can listen. No doubt, Leanna, please check this out. All right, what's your numbers for this weekend? All right, um, we are at. Uh, I want to cap it out at 40, and we're we're at 77. We're at 33, 34. I, I want to cap it out at 40. I like mine to be intimate, especially when you do the live. I average about 40 something per per showcase. And when I when I I'm not here to you know obviously I don't charge a lot, all right you know for my showcases, and I don't care much for the numbers. I promise you. You know I had 77 in Mississippi. That was the largest one I had. And it goes on forever. OK, um, I'm not here. You know, and I say that, and you know, now we're talking. There's been some partnerships and stuff talked about in the future. But as I sit here now, when with me and as a one man band and a small you know, team that I have, you know, I'm looking at 40. You know what I'm saying? 
players, all right, to keep on one field because when you are doing a live streaming, okay, I like to give everybody they love, okay? So when they do this, and I'm just going to give you an overview for the people that are coming to my showcases and if you are coming to the future because the live streaming is not going to stop. Even when they open up the D1s and the D1 coaches can't come out there, all right, there's still Division two, Division three, and junior colleges that can't get out to these whatever, so that's where the live stream is always going to be in effect, okay? All right, so... I'm keeping this intimate. I'm keeping it more of the Alabama schools and, and a few plucked here. You know, I'm, I handpicked a few live, you know, schools that will be on a live stream. But what I do is I, I make sure that these these cameras are, you know, hey, I'm D Brown, so and so high school, blah 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 blah. Every time they do something, so that drags out. It does drag out. So you know, you you can look at thirty some kids and be like, oh, it's not a lot. But when it comes to you know timing of it and when I'm having it and how long it takes for the live stream to kind of give everybody their love uh, like i said 40 is like a cat and i always you know like i said i whew, that goes a long time all right so anyway that's your that's 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 what you got right there all right we're, i think we're seven kids away from 40 and that's what i just said the other early in, the, in camp i want to top out at 40 all right great memory guys if you have a younger great memory if you have a guys if you have a younger ball player listen to this guy once your kid is 18, you will know everything he says is true to get recruited. Had I found him earlier, I would have saved a ton of money in process. Oh, Lord, let me, gosh, I got to, who said that? I appreciate you, man. All right? Man, I appreciate it. I, I got to figure out where you are. Because, right? uh, man, this is uh, this is great, 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 great information, man. I appreciate the, I appreciate that. I, I can't, it'll take me a little time to figure out where, um, you know, where this is at, man. So, uh, Houston. Is, is Houston, is that is that the largest school district in that city council? All sub varsity play, play this includes baseball. Is that, yeah? Is that you that said that in Houston? Gosh, why well, I can't get up. All my names are not popping up. All right. So, all right. Uh, all right, Jim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Jim, my boy Jim out in, uh, Oh, Jim and Phoenix said that. So shout out to my boy Jim that said that. I, I gained great memory. If you guys have a younger ball play, listen to this guy. Once your kid is 18, you will know everything he says. All right, no doubt. All right, all right. And I don't. And then, like I said, if I see you guys on the road, it may be at another tournament. It may be a perfect game. It may be whatever. Please, if you are a fan here, I looked at this show, a fan of this show. I am, I am so approachable, um, and it means a lot to me. So if I see you out there on the road, because I will, I have. You, you hear my boy Jim, right? This is Jim. This was two years ago, right? Summer of 2019. All right, so almost two years ago, all right, a year and a half ago. All right. I, I, he, 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 you know, ran into me. He was like, yo, you know, D, I enjoy your show. You know, boom, boom, boom. This way in Nashville, and he lives in Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? So again, he came up. I enjoy your show, blah, 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 blah. All right. So if you are, hopefully, I, you know, I know many of you I will see in person and I'll see because of the show. But if it may not be my event, hopefully it will be. But if it's not an event, if I'm just out and about, you know, a showcase or some type of, you know, baseball function and you see me out there. And if you are a fan of the show, please, you know, what I'm saying make sure to highlight me. Let me know that you're listening to the show. I'll show you some love. All right. All right. Monique says Houston. Ah, I did not know that. All right. For real. When did this happen? Monique, did, 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 just, did this just happen? All right. Um. All right. Uh, knowledge is power. Thank you, fam. You're going to you're going to have a talk show. <laughs> you're going to have a talk show in just a matter of time. Craig, I appreciate it, man. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm on the gym. I know you're in Phoenix, brother. All right. Yes, your knowledge is power. I appreciate you, Mina. All right. No doubt about it. You are right. Two summers ago. Yep, it was. So, um, you know, I don't want to. So I say this to say two things, all right? I'm gonna end this. Just remember the three things. I'm gonna get off here, all right? All right, three things, all right? Don't argue pause and strikes. As much as it hurts, as much as it's painful, just understand that dudes at the highest of the highest levels make mistakes, okay? So don't be arguing with these umpires. I know it's hard as parents, especially you, all right? Please, all right? No scout, no recruiter, like a loud mouth parent over there arguing, you know, because all they can envision is them. If it's one day it'll be you arguing with the umpire, the next day you, they're gonna be you gonna be calling them about why your son ain't playing, and you know. So just be your be your best, you know, fan to your son without arguing. You know what I'm saying? Being all of that. All right. Body language. Okay. Two. All right. Watch your body language. All right. I know certain people they can't help themselves. Okay. 
but body language is everything okay body language is everything and number three hustle all right hustle 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 all right hustle false hustle if you need to all right we used to call it uh eye wash okay that's what they love to see they mean it's scouts and recruiters okay they have canceled in parts in California, tons of kids flooding into AZ to play high school. Yeah, I thought they was gonna make a decision today. Is that is that decision today final too with California? All right. Uh, let me know, man. Coach, we are we had we are here at a baseball fact. My son had two pro scouts ask him about his 60 and glove, took info. Thanks for the info. No doubt, no doubt, man. That's what it's about, man. All right, he's gonna do big things, man. Saturday's going to be a beautiful day for a showcase here in Bam. I know. I I I uh Shout out to my parents that's, that have been reaching out to me, letting me know like how the weather's going to be. I have a myth, one of my parents from Memphis today asked me how that's uh you know going to be. And let me put that post up here. Thank you for reminding me. All right. So listen, I'm, I'm only seven seven away. All right. So if you are in and and like I said, I have I have five hours Memphis. I have Arkansas driving seven eight hours away coming in from Arkansas. Dallas, I don't even know six seven eight hours coming in. All right. We have Panhandle, Florida. We have uh, Georgia, we have, and of course, Alabama. So we got Tennessee, Arkansas, Texas, California. We got one kid flying in from California. We have uh, Georgia, Florida, all right? Six states, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, six, 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 all right? Um, states represented, all right? I think that's six. My map is right, all right? So uh, Alabama. All right, cool. So um, share this, share this message anyway. I, now, obviously, I got the, I got the showcase and everything that I'm promoting. And if you have, if you want any recruiting help, anything like that, you'll holler at me, please. You know what I'm saying? You know, just send a message, private message me. We'll set up a time to talk. All right, I, I got one today that I'm gonna talk to today, kid out of Pennsylvania. Um, but um, if you have a kid, you know what I'm saying that needs help, let me know, man. All right. HISD announced last week, hoping neighboring districts do not adopt this plan. If you can, please message me as I know you're about to end this presentation. I appreciate you sharing this very much. All right. Uh, if you can, please message me. But I'm going to ask that you message me. OK, I'm going to ask that you message me. All right. Please do. All right. Um, I am. Uh, all right. That is my time. Appreciate you. I've got a couple of messages and all that. And again, um, you know, higher 61, 0% chance of rain. All right. Beautiful day. That's God looking out, right, Bubba? I know, Bubba, you the pastor. All right? you, might, you pray for them sunny skies out there in Montgomery. All right. So, beautiful 61 degree day. All right. Beautiful state of Alabama. First time I would be in Montgomery, man. And, uh, it, you know, so again, you know, even if you're in the cold weather states, you want to come down and compete and have some fun down there, you know, you're more than welcome. Like I said, I got, I got a kid flying in from California. All right. So, um, you know, it, it's 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 big enough, but intimate enough. All right. I'm not about the eight hundreds, hundreds and multiple fields and all. I, I That's not that's not why I do what I do all right, with this. OK, I mean, I charge what I want and I actually, you know, I very well could be charging more, but I charge what I charge. And I did in the beginning. I went down because I heard whatever. I'm, I don't want to deter nobody away from, you know, because of money. It's not going to be free because I feel like. What I provide and what I'm providing essentially right now, when when you go to PBR and a perfect game right now, there's five to seven hundred dollars being spent and there are no colleges there. All right. They're just jotting down your information and putting in there and they got droves of hundreds of kids that that'll go there. OK, I promise you, I could do every every little bit that they're doing with college and scouts in attendance. OK, I right, now I don't have the data data platform and all that have perfect game right now and the numbers and all that type of stuff here right now as we stay here right now. But man, you know. It is what it is. All right. Hey D, could I, I could be your chaplain on, on call? <laughs> no doubt about it, Bubba. All right. Please, you know, hey, I need a I need a prayer too, all right? From time to time. But no doubt. All right. Especially if you're gonna be there on this, you know, on this well, you're gonna be there on Sunday. But um listen, um I appreciate you guys. All right. You got the showcase, share this message, okay? You know, like I said, it's share them at the, the the core group of this is the three mistakes. Don't let it happen to you. Please, all right. Um, um, private message me if you need anything. Even if you if you if you don't need anything, go go. If you're not part of D Brown Facebook private page, okay, private group. I just talked about it earlier. Again, we have professional scouts, professional 
major league coaches in there, professional coaches in there, college coaches in there. All right. I'm not saying to say you will have a I'm not saying you're going to get scholarship offers and all that in there. But I promise you there's guys in there. There's guys in there. OK. All right. Um, do you let parents do you let parents know what level kids should should look at schools? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, that's one thing I do. And that's what I talked about. I, I don't uh, you know, I think one 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 parent, I don't think they like what I have to say. I, and and I, I I rather, you know, if I feel like a kid could possibly sneak into D1, I'll say that. But if I feel like and again, it's just evaluation on video, but I'd rather be safe because my name is attached to you. You know what I'm saying? Which you don't, you know, parents, if you come to my program, my name is attached to you. So, um, you know, if I vouch for you, you know, the kid better, you know, because I may lose that contact. I mean, you know, they, they, they might be friends of mine and they'll 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 say what's up to me as far as from friends. But when it comes to players and evaluating and, and, and bring them into their schools, that won't happen again. If, if, if I'm if I'm lying to them about a player and then the kid come in there and be, you know, not playing up to par. So I, I, I tend to court, you know, caution, the, you know, on the uh, safe side. Um, and where it may may or may not, you know, parents may or may not, you know, like it. But um you know it is what it is i i i you know um it is what it is that's all i'm gonna say so i have my advice and my advice doesn't work i i got plenty of parents and and, and stories that i told them one thing and it didn't and my what i told them they went against what i said and, it, and, it, and it's working out for them in the short term in the short term i look at the long play at the long play so um all right, that's my time. So, if you guys again, all right, let me put this uh, showcase I uh, link up there. Uh, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? All right. Um, my Texas family out there, my my people out there in Texas, holla at me, holla at me, holla at me. All right, y'all need me more than anything right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right, I try to put something out there, uh, showcase wise. But if you have any type of you know, show, you know, recruiting side of things, man. Y'all need to holler at me like yesterday, right? Um, anyway, it's Cali too. My Cali parents out there. Uh, love you guys. 4 p.m. tomorrow. I'm going to try to lock in a big college coach on Thursday if you could put it together. I, I even may get another major leaguer on here, okay? i putting this in the works, right, as we speak. So hopefully I can finish out the week with a couple of good guests and um, keep this ball moving. Please share, tag. Um, tell everybody, you know what I'm saying, about this show, man. Help me grow this thing um, and give me, you know, if you know any parent or anything that um, anybody that may need help in recruiting may not be you, but you know somebody else that may need recruiting help, holler at me, all right? That's how I got today. To, I mean, Texas yesterday, the kids from Texas, shout out to my boy B. Hall for showing me some love and uh, um, that lets me know I'm doing my thing, you know what I'm saying, that they're willing to, you know, tell other people about me, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know. It may not be you that need the help, okay? But you may need, need some, you know, know somebody that knows somebody that needs some help when it comes to the recruiting side, or you know, need to come to my showcase or anything like that, okay? All right. Um, showcase location. I'm in NC. All right. Um, my right now it's in uh, Alabama, okay? All right. It's in uh, uh, Montgomery, Alabama. So, um, but. Just message me. We got some things coming next month, potentially. I right, a little closer to you. Maybe we may be, be talking about doing something in Atlanta um, next month. And then we are also talking about, uh, you know, we have a, uh, uh, you know, um, you know. And then for my parents that are listening that signed, understand this. I know I have uh, some, um, you know, I'm, I'm, and I and I say this, so you might get this email because I'm getting messages now. Um, I sent an email out right before the show. You guys are just part of a group te uh, text email, so I should have put it in there. But all I did was just resend the email that I did the day before because there's, there's been other parents that just signed up that have been added. And um, so when I sent, I fill out that roster, uh, when I actually fill out the roster, I'm sending out to college coaches. And I only got 15, you know, 15 people that signed up, you know, can put that information. And I have over 30 that that's coming. So. I need you to fill that out, and and so my don't wait till the last minute because you wait till the last minute, you you're not the roster, you're not the college coaches are not going to get the roster uh, with your name, your son's name on it. So if you if you have get if you have put it already, um, just understand that you're just part of a group email, okay? So 
I didn't want to like take the time and dissect it. I, I, I just sent it out again and I knew I was going to get the emails back. Like, coach, I already sent it out. I know you did. OK, um, but it's for those 15 to 17 other parents who have not, you know, signed their stuff in. And I wanted to resend it to them and an additional four or five parents that just, you know, that brought um, brought the tickets the last few days. OK, so um, get that information in there. If you have done it, no doubt. I got it. I promise you, you're good. OK, all right, cool. So got that out the way. You in close to the showcase here, you know, Montgomery area, you don't mind driving, come in, all right? Uh, and then Sun, uh, gosh, uh, we will uh, be going from there, all right? Uh, how at me if you have any help when it comes to the recruiting side, you need any help, no matter what part of the country, all right? Love you guys. 4 p.m. tomorrow Eastern, we keep this ball moving, okay? Share this message, tag somebody in there that needs some help, holler at me. Peace and love, y'all.